Hey everybody, Chris here of the ASP Productions, and I am with Joe, and Joe has a lovely presentation of United States Marines during World War II. So, Joe, take it away. All right, thanks, Chris. Um, this is what was considered the summer service uniform. Uh, before Pearl Harbor, it really was the dress uniform and the combat uniform. It, was, it did both, uh, both duties. Obviously, in combat, they weren't wearing neckties. Mm -hmm. But this is the campaign hat that, especially in the more tropical areas, they, they enjoyed wearing it. And before the actual war, they weren't wearing a helmet when they didn't have to. Oh, yeah. You know? And uh, um, you know, uh, they, were, they were made of cotton. So in the summer service uniform, they're actually very comfortable. Um, you can always tell a Marine Corps shirt compared to an Army shirt, which is always a big controversy yeah. for some people. So what's the, uh, what's the difference? Two, three major things. The pocket flaps are pointed on a Marine Corps shirt. Okay. An army one is simply squared off. All right. Number two, behind the buttons is a cotton strip all the way up that they sew the, the buttons to. Mm -hmm. Army ones don't have that cotton strip. And three, and the most obvious one is you look for the contract stamp or the contract tag. Okay. And if it says contract United States Marine Corps 1943, well then obviously there you go. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, on Guadalcanal, where you'll start, for the most part, you'll see the combat troop wearing the later combat uniforms, but a lot of the senior officers, there's a lot of photographs of them still wearing this shirt. Now, obviously, at, uh, at Pearl Harbor, at Wake Island, at, yeah. um, at Corregidor, the 1941 battle, yes. right in the beginning of the war, yeah. they're still wearing this uniform. But as a combat uniform was phased out pretty much right after Pearl Harbor when they got into the full swing of the war. Yeah, against the Japanese. Right, and you can see here, the tan with the green stripes is marine, and this would be to a, a first sergeant, three up, one down, and that's it. Okay. How about the campaign hat? Uh, More about it. Um, I'm not an expert on campaign hats because there are dozens and dozens of models going back pretty much to the turn of the, of the 20th century. Okay. But um, this is a, a World War II dated one. Um, colored cords. The cords, there's, there's dozens of cords, all by the color of the cord and the acorn, mm -hmm. all for rank and other things. This is a, a, a infantryman serviceman, because there's no color to it. And the EGA is also to either an enlisted man or a non-commissioned officer. Okay. And the way you tell is, and most people don't know this, when you look at the globe, you'll see the Caribbean islands. Okay. It's there. If it's not there, it's an officer's EGA. Okay. Because during the Spanish-American War, the Army went landed on Cuba. The Marines' job was to take Puerto Rico. The Marines that landed on Puerto Rico in 1898 were led ashore by NCOs. So since then, mm -hmm. only enlisted men and NCOs have the Caribbean islands on the globe of their Eagle Globe. And not the uh, officers. Not officers, correct. Oh, wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. Little things, right? Yeah, little little things that yeah. you know. When you're collecting little things. Yeah. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Well, we have outside. Let's say when uh, when it's the full dress uniform. Obviously, the world was called a piss cutter. Okay. Uh, it's called a piss cutter. Army would call it a garrison cap. Okay. And um, again, the EGA would be on it. Mm -hmm. Always left side. There's actually a, a sewn hole for it. This particular one's pretty neat because as the the, the PFC's name stenciled in it, and the contract tags, size seven and a quarter. And again, same cotton material, you know, that went with the summer service uniform. Obviously, you didn't see those in combat. Yeah. You know, it was not meant, it was not its intention. And it was always the summer service pants. This is a mint unissued pair that still has the tailor's cutter tags on it. Same material, basic same color. And nothing more than a watch pocket in the front. That's yeah. how you. No in the back. No pockets. That's no one of the keys to tell it's Marine and not Army. Why? How do you? How can you tell the difference between Marine and Army? No pockets. In the back. Correct. Oh, so the, for the Army, they would have pockets Correct. in the back. Ah, yep. okay. Yep. And that's them. And you can see the Takoda tag still on there. Uh, what, what, what's the date on? 1943. So clearly unissued. Just an absolute beautiful pair. 
and then there's the waist belt. Brass, open face buckle on a khaki belt. Brass tip. And that's it. That was the summer service uniform. That's nice. All right, close up look. The marine uniform. Pointed. Pointed compared to the army army which has a flat um, fold over. This is pointed. This is marines. And second is this. This white cotton strip. And of course, just look for any Marine Corps markings. But that's how you distinguish Army and Marine. Is there one? Mm, not this particular one, no. Yeah. No. All right. Next are the pants. Button up pants. No butt pockets. Two side pockets and one pocket up here. That's it.